SOLIDWORKS 3D Interconnect allows you to work in a variety of workflows, including working with imported sheet metal parts. We'll open up this Creo file here that's on my system, and we'll bring it in through Interconnect. Now, when 3D Interconnect works, it'll make a SOLIDWORKS part file with an external live reference to that Creo file. And what we want to do is we want to establish that this is a sheet metal part in SOLIDWORKS. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to change the units to make sure it's in inches so I can easily uh, figure out the measurement for my thickness. you got to figure out what the thickness is going to be based on the geometry measurement. So 0.120 is what we measure. And that's what we're going to use as the thickness when we um, convert this to sheet metal. So we'll go ahead and pick the neutral face. We'll enter in that 0 0.120 thickness. That's going to actually build a sheet metal over this part. And then when we collect the bends, it'll go find all the curved areas. It'll automatically make bends for them and put in the correct radius based on the imported geometry. So there we have it now. Our sheet metal features are added into this uh, SOLIDWORKS part. But it's riding on top of that externally referenced Creo file. Now when you get a new version of a file, we just go ahead and copy and paste it into our working folder. Normally you overwrite the old one, but in the case of Creo where it's using the dot revision file, uh, file naming scheme, you can just go ahead and just park it right next to it in the same folder. And then SOLIDWORKS will automatically see that there's a new version of that part in that folder after we do a simple rebuild. So we we'll hit the rebuild. You'll notice as we do that, that we get a new little indicator on the uh, feature there saying that yes, you know, you could update this model if you want to. So we'll go ahead and do that and then SOLIDWORKS 3D Interconnect will switch the reference to the part.2 file and you'll see that we have some things just to clean, kind of clean up here. First thing you always want to do is roll back before any sheet metal features are in there. So you have the original geometry and that's what you're looking at on screen. Again, I'll come back in here and switch us back to uh, three decimal places uh, English units. And I want to go back before the sheet metal feature. So I'm just seeing the import geometry and I can see that now we have the uh, 0 0.075 thickness, so a different thickness. Um, so that we have reference. We'll go ahead and roll forward a little bit so we can expose that sheet metal feature. And then I'll come in here and edit that old value and make sure that it reads the new value that I measure, which is 0 0.075. And then when we go forward and let the rest of the features rebuild, the convert salad is going to need a little help here. So we'll go ahead and edit that. And we'll uh, just clear the old uh, collection of bends. And instead, we'll go ahead and recollect them again. Now, I'll just make it nice and fresh and make sure that it collects all the bends correctly that we want based on that same neutral face. And there we have it. Everything else updates, and the sheet metal unfolds just like before with the new geometry. Mm -hmm.